Hey everybody, Brent Florica here, and welcome back to Sketchbook B. In this episode, I'm going to be coloring another one of my Inktober pieces from 2020. This one of uh, Peter Parker's Spider-Man, as portrayed by uh, Tom Holland. This one uh, I really enjoyed, had a lot of fun with it, and with the background and stuff too, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please leave a like if you do, and consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. So starting off here with my original ink work, this was on the last day of Inktober. Uh, the word was crawl, <laughs> so I thought I'd do a character that crawls up walls. <laughs> um, started off with my typical process of just kind of taking a piece of marker paper on the side, playing around with different color options. Um, after my Gollum piece, uh, the last one I did, I was really intrigued by the idea of working in different colors to make it more interesting. So on the front side of the character where that kind of yellow light is hitting, I wanted to make that more of like an orangey red. And then I thought on the back side in my reference image as well, it looked like this too, that there it was more of a, a deeper sort of uh, purpley red, I guess you could say, more of like a burgundy color. So I tried to kind of incorporate some of that on the back side as well. And, as I was going through it, I just, I really enjoyed it. I love the colors and, and the look of this suit. Um, it just, the red really pops and I was already kind of thinking about how to sort of make that background accentuate the suit more so that it really jumps off the page. And I was gonna do something like a, a sort of grayish color, but that's evolved a little bit um, as I considered the, the lighting of the character and, and how to sort of make that believable based on the environment. So um, we'll get into that a little bit more later. But um, yeah, so just laying in colors with my Copics here, starting from the lights and then moving into darker and darker and then going back to sort of blend it all together with the lighter uh, shades. I just I have so much fun on this. This is a this is a uh, heavier sort of cardstock uh, Bristol board. Um, I, what normally when I do marker drawings, I use like a marker paper, and while it's thicker than just sort of a regular piece of copy paper, it isn't as thick as this stuff. And so uh, this was kind of nice because I could really build up lots of ink on the paper, and it would take it and not rip apart and and uh, kind of just get all mushy and weak so there's a tendency for that to happen uh, when using markers and and doing a lot of blending so uh, this paper really held up well so I was I was really happy about that as you can see here I'm trying to incorporate that really strong light source on the side of his face and so I started by kind of laying in where that would be and then went in building up my skin tones so I use a variety of colors now and I'm constantly developing what skin tones I like the look of best, but um, I use uh, E33, which is like a sand brown. I use E13, which is I think called light sun tan. Um, and then E51 and E50, which are kind of like my lighter end of the spectrum. And then in the middle, I also have been using um, E02, which is has a little bit of a pinkish tone to it. And, uh, but I feel like that adds some kind of richness to it. That's what I'm laying in right here. And uh, I don't know, I just find that that's uh, a really nice color for kind of tying in the darker areas with the lighter areas. It's a good sort of intermediate color. This piece was a lot of fun to create initially. It was the last day of Inktober and initially I was thinking of kind of coasting it through to the finish, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try and do something uh, something as cool as possible, you know, something detailed and, um, you know, put some real effort into it. And I, I really like the look of it. In the end, like, I feel like it looks like Tom Holland, but it's it's a near miss. Um, the nose is too long. If you kind of look at the original picture from the poster or whatever, you can tell that the nose is just a little bit longer than what it should be. So that was one of those things that just kind of bothers me when I look at it now. But um, in general, I am very happy with how this drawing turned out. And, you know, everything's a learning process, so <laughs> I'll take that forward onto my future pieces. Filling in the hair now, and um, I'm going to use my sort of white uh, gel pens to sort of accentuate some of the hair. I considered playing around with some pencil crayons for this one, but um, maybe next time. <laughs> I'm still working up to that, and I need to kind of play around just on loose pieces of paper in my sketchbook a bit before I kind of 
attempt it on a finished piece because I just I'm, I'm not comfortable enough with um, overlaying my marker work with pencil crayons yet but I feel like that probably would have been a little bit more effective to create kind of a subtle highlight through the hair as opposed to kind of um, these sort of stark white highlights so here's the finished piece really hope you enjoy it if you do please leave a like and uh, thanks a lot I'll see you next time